Hello everyone, it's Steve with Aptera Owners Club. A couple of days ago, Aptera put out this another Myths Debunked episode. Great episode. Had the tire change um, video in there. And there was a part about going through a drive through And here they have some footage of them going to In-N-Out. And those of you who aren't from California, In-N-Out is a California staple. Um, and uh, they have a secret menu. I like my burgers, uh, animal style. If you are from California or you like In-N-Out, Put in the comments how you like to order it. But anyways, um, they have some footage of them going through in and out So let's look at this. So here they are easily maneuvering through the, um, the driveway. With, that's no problem. What I, See, they just kind of cut out the part where he's like reaching for it. And it's definitely done. Okay, what I like about this is if you zoom in on this video, this guy and this girl and this woman are totally checking out the Aptera. And that is an experience we're going to have. Uh, when we drive this thing around everyone is going to stare at it and you will get noticed um, it is a very uh, unusual looking vehicle and so uh, you're going to get noticed now it, it shows them having no problem going through here and getting the um the stuff through the in and out drive through however you you know it's obvious that it's not going to be quite as easy as a regular car. And if you think that the Aptera is going to be as easy as a regular car for going through the drive through uh, that's not going to be the case. It can be done. It's probably not that hard, but it's definitely harder. And here's why. You have these outrigger tires, so you're going to be set off farther from the drive through window. This uh, window is smaller, so there's less space to go through. And then this top part is curved, so when you reach out for it, your head's going to kind of have to deal with this. You're gonna to have to ha get your head kind of close to here. And um, I looked at the newest render. So here's the render, the gamma render. And I sized it in Photoshop so that this is 88 inches. So if you, if you make a box right here, uh, it reads uh, 88 inches here, okay? So that's 88 inches here. And so if you look from here, so this is kind of like where your arms would start. And you go to here, that's about 21 inches. So there's about, you have to reach about 21 inches before you get to the outside of this. So if you want to leave some space between the curb and this thing, you know, let's say you give yourself two, three inches, which isn't a lot, you're going to have to reach out almost two feet to, to get at the, um, to touch the, touch the wall or the drive through window. Now, of course, the drive-through person can lean out the window, so that helps. But two feet is about the length of, you know, almost the full length of your arm. I mean, most people's arms are like two and a half, maybe maybe three feet if you're really tall. Um, but you're going to have to reach out, and you're going to have to reach past that. And you're going to have to maneuver this, uh, this uh, small window, which is not a problem for me. Like, I don't go through drive throughs that often, and also I find when I do go through drive throughs it's much faster just to like park the car and go inside than to wait through a busy drive through um, The things I, you know, that are important that you can access is, you know, we're going to have to go through toll booths sometimes, and you definitely want to access that. You don't want to be getting out of your car for the toll booth. So I don't think it's going to be a problem for all those things, but understand that it's not going to be quite as easy as in a regular car because in a regular car the distance between the window and the tire and the side of the car is going to be like this it's going to be like 10 10 inches maybe 12 inches at most um, so this is going to be double the distance that you're going to have to go through can it be done absolutely can you get drive through of course you can um, is it going to be as easy as a regular car with a giant window and the wheels uh, set closer in no not not as easy as that but um it's not a deal breaker for me. You know, there's a lot of compromises that you, we're going to have to accept because of the Aptera being a highly efficient car and shaped like this. And that's just one of them. You know, the other things are, you know, it's a two-seater. It doesn't carry a lot of stuff. Um, you know, I have that video about seven reasons uh, why Aptera is not for you, which kind of talks about that. That's uh, seemingly one of the more popular videos, although that was a little bit of a tongue-in-cheek video. Um, but... Uh, yeah, I, I thought that was uh, interesting that uh, they had a thing about in and out I, the, My favorite part of this whole video, again, is the looks on these people's faces. You guys should, like, go back and watch the video in 4K and uh, look, at, look at it. It's funny. They're, they're, they're definitely gawking at it. And look, here's a person right here. 
uh, recording it on their phone. It's some random bystander. They're just like, what the heck is that thing? Let's video it. Um, so I think, uh, I think I, I thought that was the funniest thing about this whole thing. But it does prove they have no problems navigating this with it. Um, and that you can get the food. You just you probably just have to reach out a little farther. It's a little bit of more maneuvering, but it's it's definitely not a deal breaker. Okay, well, thanks for watching, guys. Um, put your comments below. I love reading all of them. Thanks to our supporting members, as always. Thanks to all you guys for watching, and have a great day, everyone.